But across the English Channel, a French satirical magazine has reignited the debate. Charlie Hebdo has reprinted the 12 cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad that sparked this controversy. Several of the magazine's managers have been given police protection. Anne-Marie Green, RTE News. As the boycott of Danish goods continues to spread in Muslim countries, Denmark's pharmaceutical and dairy sectors are being hardest hit, with the state's biggest milk and cheese producers losing 1.3 million euro a day. At Limfjord in northern Denmark, the fury on the streets of the Islamic world seems a very distant concern. But the boycott of Danish goods has brought this conservative dairy farming community unwittingly right into the front line in the so-called clash of civilizations. In the village of Bislev, stonemason Henning Nielsen is working to restore the 12th century Lutheran church. It's a very bad situation. We're all talking about it, how bad it is for us, for our jobs, but also for the whole country. Nearby, the Arla Foods factory, producing feta and cream cheese, is now virtually idle. Denmark's biggest exporter to Arab countries is losing 1.3 million euro a day, thanks to the Saudi-led boycott, resulting in 100 job losses. Edvard Nergo, the local grave digger, tells how, after 10 years at Arla Foods, his daughter Yona has just been laid off. They are so, I just say, I'm MSC. I don't think that the paper should have insulted people, but maybe they weren't realizing what they were doing. They should have thought about how the Middle East is taking 70% of what we produce at our factory here. Ironically, the workforce here had been concerned that the company was about to move some of its production to Saudi Arabia. That's obviously not now going to happen, but it's hardly a let-off for those whose livelihoods depend on trade with the Middle East. The company will now have to decide whether or not a hundred temporary layoffs will become permanent. Here there are mixed views about freedom of speech and religious belief, but this is a community in large part dependent on dairy exports. Tony Connolly, RTE News, Bislev, Northern Denmark.